The students are back at Danvers High School. I'm just trying to return to some sense of normalcy. The school's flag at half staff and pink ribbons on the trees, reminders that things are still far from normal. I don't know why someone would do this to someone that's so nice. Still more questions and answers as to what made 14-year-old Philip Chisholm allegedly kill his math teacher Colleen Ritzer with a box cutter on Tuesday and then dump her body in the woods behind the school's athletic field. He then went to this theater to see Woody Allen's Blue Jasmine. Chisholm's uncle in Tennessee, among those who still can't understand why. This is the furthest thing from reality for me to believe that uh, Philip could, you know, get entangled in something like this. His uncle told CNN that Chisholm's parents are separated. Chisholm's father, a former military man, is now living in Florida. The question is, could trouble at home be one of the reasons behind his alleged attack? An investigation is a, is a broad and painstaking effort. So there, all, any and all information that's, that's pertinent and relevant to proving our case is taken into consideration. Would something like that be relevant? It could be. Freshman student Cambria Clotier sat near Chisholm in Ritzer's math class. She said he was a good student, but that something was different about Chisholm's behavior on Tuesday. He was a little bit more quiet than usual. Like he had his earbuds on, he was drawing, he wasn't doing math, he wasn't paying attention. Clotier says Ritzer asked Chisholm to stay after class to help him with what he missed telling CNN's Pam Brown that she walked by the classroom after school and saw the two of them together. What did you see in the classroom at 315? I saw Miss Ritzer standing at her desk computer, uh, smiling at me, and then I saw Philip slouching in his chair, staring at me when I had walked by. Just 15 minutes later, according to sources close to the investigation, Colleen Ritzer was brutally killed in the school's second floor bathroom. If I had walked by there 15 minutes later, what could have happened? If I witnessed that, like, what could I have done? And here's what sources close to the investigation are telling us. They're telling us that there is nothing in his past, in this young man's past, that would lead them to believe that he was capable of doing this or would lead them to believe that he would even do this. He didn't have bad grades. And they're also saying that that whole theory about him having some sort of crush on her, they don't believe that that's a possibility as well. They're saying to us that it is a blind alley wolf. Uh, but we've also learned, too, that uh, her wake uh, will be held on Sunday and her funeral will be held on Monday, both in Andover.